Charges are pending after a carjacking in Roseland overnight. Just an hour after that SUV was taken, officers with the Vehicular Hijacking Task Force found it with the suspected thief driving the stolen car. CBS 2's Mugu Odigwe details how they caught the suspect so quickly. Detectives at Area 1 are looking into this case, but the task force behind the arrest is the same one that was expanded this year to tackle the carjacking crisis in Chicago, which is still at an all-time high. Here's what we know about this recent case. It ended here near 95th and Wentworth. You can see a black Dodge Durango on the sidewalk, the front part of it damaged. There's even more damage inside with the airbag deployed. We also saw first responders putting this man into an ambulance. It's not clear if he's the carjacker or the person in the other car the suspect ended up crashing into. Police say the Dodge was stolen at gunpoint in Englewood around 11 last night. But just over an hour later, officers with the carjacking task force spotted it. As they prepared to stop the driver, he ran a red light at 95th and Wentworth and hit another car in the intersection. That's when police swooped in and arrested him. But this case is more proof of the carjacking crisis in Chicago. A quick look at the numbers year by year shows that from January to late October of 2019, there were 450 carjackings. The following year, as the city was dealing with a pandemic, when comparing that same time frame, there were 987 cases. Then this year, there have been a record-breaking 1,360 carjackings in the city of Chicago. Again, the suspected carjacker in this case was arrested, and police say charges are pending. They also say a handgun was found in the stolen SUV. Mugu Digwe, CBS 2 News.